Anyway, um, like I say, uh, Hell's Angels and a lot of other people would find out that, well, like, like I say too, I mean, they mostly just picked out the outskirts of Germany. Um, it wasn't until they started carpet bombing like crazy that, that, that they were actually able to make any dent in Germany at all. Uh, Germany had the night, the, and, and they actually started poisoning the troops. Germany had the night scopes. Like I said, from, from, from the point in time of like 1700 or 1812 or some ridiculously old year, like, like I think it might be even 1300, we had night vision scopes. We could see in the dark. Just nobody knew we could because, you know, um, you know, uh, like, uh, like, like, like even as, as late as, as like, as like eight, uh, 1900 or 1800, they would smash the scopes <laughs> and they would find these little pieces of glass and these little flattened pieces. And later on they would look at it, they would look at the pieces and they'd be like, that's a star scope. That's a night vision star scope flattened out. It's like, yeah, it was. It was night vision star scope, a little bit of electronics and, and some other stuff and basic light int int intensification. Even back in, in, in 1800 and 1700, we could see in the dark. You know, United States, U U.S. people couldn't. America, some Americans could, did have access to, 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 to this equipment. Very few, though. It really wasn't American. It was mostly Europe and anyway, and probably some Russians. But a lot of people, and also some 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 Israeli Israeli people too, because like I said, Israel was was my country, you know. So, you know, we protect our own, you know. And and those and those people would work hard and worked hard, you know. And and those other people were just trying to kill us, trying to kill them, you know. Like I said, they weren't Germans. No, they 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 were there are people wearing uh there there are people pretending to be Germans. There are people pretending to be this and pretending to be that. Or they were following like like some crazy guy's orders. Um, basically, uh, Hell's Angels or some bikers were trying to basically puppet master uh, Germany at some point in time. Anyway, it gets all complicated. Where 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 basically free will and a bunch of people basically are running around, you know, and they're and they're getting drugs from Germany and trying to trying to buy Germany or trying to take over Germany. But Germany is owned by me. You know, they can't own Germany, and I and I'm not selling. I wasn't selling, so they were trying. They're trying to buy Germany because because technically they, they they had all this money stashed up, you know, from the drugs. Anyway, and all this other stuff, you know, and 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 most of the drugs that they were selling were junk drugs. Like I said, they weren't the, they weren't the real thing. They were acid and stuff like that, and it was making people go crazy, go crazy, and, and causing brain damage. Anyway, Hell's Angels is responsible. The, the the motorcycle group is responsible for a lot of stuff. Uh, cutting up my desk in the White House, uh, pissing on it, and even put shit and, and even taking a dump on my on on my White House desk, basically. Um, anyway, they did a lot of things that 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 that, that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why the Hell's Angels went to prison for a very long time, and also possibly found that even after they died, there there was more. Anyway. Because they directly offended a lot of people, and they were like, like I, like I say, that was my desk in the White House, my personal desk. That White House building is my personal house. It is known that it is Lucifer Star's personal house. It was built for me. I paid for it, and it was Lucifer White Star's house, the Lucifer White Star that created humanity in twelve races. So. Anyway, all this stuff, you know, the, uh, uh, pretending to be Lucifer Star, pretending to be somebody or me inside my house, you know, and very much not me, and then trying to rename America a different country name, you know, uh, when Hell's Angels stepped upon the wrong grave, you might say. Anyway, a lot of people are like, what the, you know, they're still annoying me. You know, it's, it's like they didn't really truly understand who owned that house a lot of people germany germany would, would say that too it said do you not know who owns that house who owns the white house do you not know whose house that is the white house is lucifer star's white house same with the dc building same with fort knox the whole place lucifer star the epic creator of 12 races out of all the planets and all the worlds, and Humphrey Bogard, whose whose name I don't really know, his name was Samuel or something like that. Um, he, he his stage name was Humphrey Bogard, Humphrey Bogard, basically, <laughs> or whatever. 
I don't really know. Anyway, though, um, a lot of people would say, do you not know whose house that is? That's Lucifer Star's house. Anyway, a lot of people knew whose, whose house the White House was. Same with Fort Knox. That was my house as well. It was supposed to be my summer house or something like that. I don't really know. Or a bunker or something like that. I had lots of bunkers. They would call it Hitler's. Anyway, they were trying to give Adolf Hitler all this stuff, even America. And then later on, you know, and then, and then and it gets all confusing and complicated. It's like, well, this, well, that, you know. And basically it gets all complicated where people are like, huh, what, what, what? It's like, well, it's complicated. But basically I'm Lucifer Star and pretty much, I mean... I mean, the Hell's Angels basically they got stamped, for, stomped. For, I mean, they 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 made a mistake. I don't know who they were listening to or who they thought they were, but they stepped upon the wrong person. They, like I said, they took a dump on my on my White House desk and also cut up my five thousand year old unburnable hardwood and then tried to burn it. So, and this was somewhere around 1950, 1960. So anyway, as if everything that, anyway, JFK was probably, or Nixon was probably behind it. I don't really know exactly where exactly he was. I mean, it's, it's hard to say exactly who was, was, was causing the bigger problems. And I don't really care. It's like, well, I don't really care. It's not my problem. You know, but, but that's what was going on with the White House and everything else. You know, between Nixon, some Hells Angels guys, and some Hells Angels motherfuckers, and some other people. And, and also, the, 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 then again, also the black, black-white race war. Or or, or or white white and black versus everyone else race war. I mean, it's hard to say exactly because, like I said, and then and then a bunch of black people telling a bunch of Chinese people if they come in here, we're gonna we're, we're gonna take acid, uh, we're gonna take uh, what's called uh, cyanide together, you know, trying tr trying to get the Japanese to kill themselves or something like that. And it's like no 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 no, we're freeing you. We're we're teaching you the right way. Anyway, a bunch of people had to come down and straighten it all out. Anyway, whatever. I'm Lucifer Star. That's my White House. The DC building is a mine, and there's a mine shaft that goes all the way from the harbor, all the way to past the White House, all the way past to, to the Washington DC building, and all the way keeps on going. And another mine shaft that goes off towards towards the mountains. Well, I think they took the mountain out, but there used to be a mountain there or something like that. I think they flattened it all out. But um, but there used to be a mountain there, which is a mine or a bunker or something. I don't really know. I don't really care. Anyway, there used to be a bunch of mine shafts going all around, big mine shafts, like 60 foot wide or more. Anyway, l later on, it might have been used as a water reserve for the for, for the for the city because the mine shaft was huge and it went down like 7,000 feet underneath the ground. Like there's a 7,000 foot level, and there might even be a 14,000 foot level mine shaft. I think the water. I think the, I think some people when they, when they looked at it, they said it keeps going. Like, like, like it goes down to 7,000 feet underneath the ground. And then, and then it keeps, and then there's another shaft which goes down probably 14,000 feet or something like that. I don't really know exactly how deep it goes, but uh, there are some really, really deep mine shafts because my exoskeletons used to live down there and used to work that part of the mine. See, the exoskeletons would work 14,000 foot level and below or 7,000 foot level and below. And then humans would work down to about 3,000 foot level. And that's the way it worked, you know, and, and the exoskeletons would give ore or whatever up, you know, they did their own smelting down there. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't really matter. It was a long, long, it was thousands or millions of years ago, so, and long since over with. But if you want to know the past history and what was going on, and then later on, um, the, 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 the humans or JFK or someone took flamers down there and were, were, were trying to flame out my... Uh, my uh my, my exoskeletons which and and i'm not talking about humans in exoskeleton suits i'm talking about actual exoskeleton life forms like ants only bigger a lot bigger so anyway i think they eventually left and evacuated because you know the humans were, were basically killing them and pretty much they had to hide they might still be here but i doubt it they probably left so anyway or maybe they were on a different planet but i'm pretty sure they were on this planet 1.5s were here too. I mean, they were wandering around and, and they found some of the mummies inside those deep mines, inside of the mines. They're like, <gasps> it's like, yeah, it's not, it's real. They're 1.5 life forms. I designed them. I built them. They were my little life forms. I love you guys. You guys rock. They were awesome. They were awesome.